So stop with the constant cardio. Get off the treadmill, get off the hamster wheel. You don't need to be on it. Hey there, Coach Devin here, and I wanna talk a little bit about getting off the damn treadmill. All right, listen, back when I first started as a trainer, we're talking a long time ago because I have been a trainer for quite a while. I am 29 and a half almost years into being a trainer. Back in those days, there was a lot of talk about cardio, 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 cardio. You'd go to a gym and the cardio equipment would be literally full, literally full of people just grinding away. On and on and on and on. Women, men, everybody just, you know, I'm gonna do an hour of cardio, I'm gonna do an hour and a half of cardio, 45 minutes of cardio, whatever it happened to be. Everybody was grinding on that cardio and they're looking at that calories and they're like, how many calories can I burn? I burned 800, I burned 1,000, whatever it happens to be. Okay, calorie has, listen, cardio has a spot. It has a spot. Cardio is not bad. There's nothing bad about cardio per se, but cardio is not what is going to get you fit and healthy. It's not gonna get you fit, okay? You're not gonna get lean with cardio. Cardio is great for your heart health because that's what cardio is, it is heart health. Cardio is short for cardiovascular, means heart health. You want to do some cardio every week to be more fit. You wanna keep your heart strong, you don't wanna have a heart attacks. you don't wanna die, it's very important to do some cardio. However, if you want results, you wanna be someone who is leaner, you want a little bit more muscle, you wanna be leaner, you're not looking to be bulky, you wanna be lean, fit, and healthy, cardio is not gonna be your answer, okay? It's just not gonna be the answer that you're looking for. It isn't. And people have a hard time conceptualizing that because they're like, I can get on and I can do X number of calories. I work so hard. Or they go to some gyms and some gyms, yeah, you're hooked up on you know, heart rate monitors and they're like, I burnt this many calories. Therefore, it was a great extra workout. More calories burned does not necessarily equal a better workout. Okay. If you want to get lean, if you're looking for physique type things, you want abs, you want to be leaner in general. Cardio has its place. It's very good to have, it, but it, again, it is for heart health. The calories are sort of secondary and they're nice to have, but it's for heart health. The way you get fit, okay, the way you get fit and the way you get leaner is eating right, getting enough protein, and lifting weights. That's what it is. Those are three things that you have to do. Now, the cardio you have to do to take care of your heart. It's important to take care of your heart. I'm not saying that cardio has no place, but what I'm saying is if you want to be lean, that's not the way you do it. Bodybuilders, bikini models, uh, models in general, uh, fitness models, whatever it happens to be, they're not doing hours and hours of cardio every day. They're just not, because that's not the way this works. The best way for you to get leaner is to eat right. Either you need to be in a caloric negative, which means you're burning more calories than you're consuming in a day, which means you will get leaner, though you can't do that forever, so don't do it. Uh, second off, you want to have 30 to 35% of your total calories every day to be protein. If it's not there, you're not going to gain muscle. You're not going to promote thermogenesis. You're not going to get more fit. And lastly, you have to lift weights. You have to lift weights. Listen, lifting weights is often completely ignored still. And it's amazing. We are in 2023 and people are still saying, I don't want to get bulky. If getting bulky was easy, I would be freaking huge. I've been working out consistently since I was 14 years old. I am now 49 and I'm still not huge. So here's the deal. You're never going to get huge. It doesn't work that way. People who are huge take a lot of drugs. That's what happens. But lifting weights will allow you to gain some muscle. That muscle will mean you burn more fat. That's what's going to help you get leaner. So stop with the constant cardio. Get off the treadmill. Get off the hamster wheel. You don't need to be on it. Not all the time. What you need to do is take care of yourself and be smart. Eat right. Eat healthy, nutritious foods. 30 to 35% of your calories have to come from protein. Do cardio two to three times in a week and make sure you're not going bananas. You don't have to sprint. You don't need 1,000 calories burned. Get your heart rate up and keep it up for at least 30 minutes. That will do the trick. And last but not least, get lots of steps. That's always a good one. Walk around a lot. That's always good. And last but not least, lift freaking weights. If you lift weights, You'll get more fit. I promise you. Stop getting on the treadmill all the freaking time. Guys, you're driving me nuts with this. You're driving me nuts to see the amount, the sheer amount of cardio you're doing. And you're really, in a lot of ways, wasting time. You're wasting time. 
you don't need that much. I tell you right now, I think I'm fairly fit. I do like 20 to 30 minutes of cardio in the morning, not anything hard. I walk on a treadmill and an incline. I get on the elliptical, whatever it happens to be, and I don't go bananas. I'm just reasonable. I sweat, get my heart rate up, get off, go get a shower, go to work. Five days a week. That's all you need. You don't need more. Three to five days in a week is the max you possibly need. So get off the treadmill. I promise you, you will see more results. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below. I'd love to hear from you. Have yourself a great day, everybody. Don't fight the awesome.